This video is part of the build a complete user authentication course. Feel free to check it out. The link is in the description below. Let's see how to get currently logged in user data stored in the database securely in this lecture. Before diving in further, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to see more helpful videos like this and do not forget to hit the like button as well. Okay, let's dive right in. As you can see, I have two documents in the Firestore database inside the users collection, user one and user two. If you look at the authentication page, it has two user accounts and their user IDs match the document IDs in the Firestore database. Now, when I log in with the user one account, I get the user one data stored in the Firestore database. But when I try to access the other user's data stored in the Firestore database, the security rule blocks that, which is exactly what we wanted because we want only the currently logged in users to have access to their own data, not others. Let's dive right in. The first step is to get the user data from the Firestore database based on the currently logged in user. As you can see, I am currently logged in as the user one account with an email info at softauthor.com. Now I want to get this data from the Firestore database. To do that, I will need three Firestore database methods, get Firestore, doc, and get doc. In the app.js file, I have already imported the get Firestore and doc methods. So just import get doc method at the top. Now I want to get logged in user data only if the user is authenticated and the email is verified. So the best place to do that is inside the on auth state changed method inside the user dot email verified else statement. In their first call the doc method, this method takes three arguments. The first one is the database reference object that I have declared in here. So db comma, the second argument is going to be the collection name that we want to get the data from. So users in quotes, make sure the collection name in the Firestore database matches the collection name in here. Comma, the third argument is the unique ID of the document that we want to get from the database. As you can see, I am logged in as user one. So the ID will be this, which is the user UID. So how do we get this ID dynamically? The good news is the currently logged in user object has a property called UID, which holds the exact user UID. So the third argument is going to be user dot UID. The doc method returns the document reference object. So assign it to a constant called docref like so. Finally, call the get doc method which actually gets the user data based on the information provided in the document reference object. This method takes a single argument, which is going to be the doc ref. The get doc method is an asynchronous function. So add the await keyword before that. Also add the async keyword in front of the user parameter in here. Let's wrap this method with the try catch block to capture any potential error. So try opening closing curly braces, catch error inside the parenthesis, opening closing curly braces, and console log the error code. After that, move the get doc method inside the try block. The get doc method will return a document snapshot object that will have the actual data we are looking for. So assign it to a constant called doc snap. Now we can get the exact stored data by calling the data method on the doc snap object. So doc snap dot data opening closing parenthesis. Finally, let's console log that. When I reload the page, I get the permission denied message. That's because at this stage, the security rule is only set for adding data to the user's collection 
but not for getting data. So the second step is to add a security rule for accessing logged in user data. In the Firestore database page, you can see from the security rule tab, I only have rule for adding logged in user data. Let's write one for getting logged in user data. After the inner match block, define another one. So match slash user slash user ID inside the curly braces and opening closing curly braces. Inside here, I'm going to say allow space read colon if request dot auth not equals null. As you can see, this is very similar rule to the other one and this rule will make sure that only logged in users can access their data from the Firestore database. Switch to the app and reload the page. Now I can access the currently logged in user data. Perfect. Now I'm going to check if the currently logged in user can access other users data. For that experiment, I'm going to copy the user2 account document ID from the Firestore database, which is the user UID. Then go to the doc method inside the try block and replace it with the third argument, like so in quotes. Reload the page. Interestingly, now I can access other users' data. As you can see, I am logged in to the user one account and I can access user two account data, which is not very secure. So what I want to do is write a security rule that will restrict logged in users to be able to access only their own data, not others. Go to the security rules tab right after the null type two and symbols, then request dot auth dot UID equals equals user id this part of the condition compares the uid which is user identifier of the authenticated user with the user id which is in the curly braces which is the wild card in the document path if these uids match it means the user is trying to read their own data within the user's collection so go back to the app reload the page and I got permission denied because I'm trying to access some other user's data. But when I change the other's user ID to the currently logged in user ID, it works. At this stage, I have secured the currently logged in user data as well as the other user's data. That's great. If you like this video, smash the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Now, if you want to dive deeper into learning user authentication with a complete step-by-step -step guide start to finish, check out my premium course. Link is in the description as well. Thank you for watching. You may want to watch this next.